Okay, we're here at 2724 North Buena Vista, uh, here in Glen, in uh, Burbank. And uh, we're running our camera from a three inch clean out located on the side of the house by the crawl space. Apparently, there is like a clean out in the front uh, by the driveway where the pipe exits the house, but it's a little difficult to get to. Um, but nevertheless, there is a clean out there. Right now, we're actually um, right at the city connection where we just cannot get our camera through the last turn there because there's roots in the line and we just cannot check the final turn. You can see the water's running though, it doesn't back up. So as we pull the camera back, you see there's pretty a lot of roots over there. So we're gonna come back into the six inch clay pipe and you can see roots in the pipe. We're definitely going to recommend that this line be hydrojetted. Look, those are pretty thick roots over here. So the line definitely going to need a hydrojetting. Looks like they're probably coming through the joints, but there's no telling for sure. We want to make sure there's no big holes in it. So we definitely need a hydrojetter here. Probably just roots in the line. Pretty heavy roots. It comes onto the property where it's going to change to a piece of 4 inch ABS plastic. Now right about here, right over here, you can see how the pipe has collapsed. We need to clean, oh, I need to get a better shot of that. Right there, you see how that's falling down the pipe? Right over there, give it a little bit of a... Okay, so you can see the pipe definitely collapsed down there, it's in the grass area. And then we're coming back to a 4 inch clay pipe that's also got roots in it. Lot of grease in the line. This pipe's definitely going to need to be hydrojetted. A lot of roots, but basically, uh, you see how it was sunk down there in the grass area in the front. It's also pretty well sunk down by the clean out where the pipe exits the house. So, if you've got two holes, we're going to recommend that those spots be repaired. So, once it's being repaired, uh, you might as well just do a pipe burst and replace this 4 inch clay pipe because it's got a lot of roots in it. Definitely going to recommend because right over here, see it's falling down. But it's not really bad, but stuff can catch over there. And that's where the, the clean out outside. So it should be repaired. You see how it's falling down over there? Okay, then it comes underneath the house. Listen, pull it back quickly and then clean up the lens and go forward. Now, the lens is really dirty, difficult to see, so we're just going to pull the camera out. Clean up the lens. Okay, go in now. Cast our pipe under the house. Doesn't look too bad. You can see the bottom still looks all right. Very minor rust buildup. We're looking at the inside of the pipe. Remember, we cannot see the outside of the pipe. You want your general inspector to check the, the pipe, make sure it's not leaking. But from the inside, you can see it doesn't look too bad. Now, right about here, you see that how it's collapsed down. This is the clean out outside and right there what I'm talking about. And then you've got roots all the way along. I want to get a look at that end. 
lot of roots in the line. This is running in the front. See right there, right there, it's very badly collapsed. Okay, so um, we're going to pull the camera back. We're going to make a couple of recommendations over here. Because of those two collapses in the line, we're going to recommend that they be repaired and then while the two holes are open, you might as well do a pipe burst over here and replace this four inch clay pipe. As far as the six inch line, it needs to be hydrogenated and cleaned out and uh, have a look at again. So make sure there's nothing majorly wrong with it. Although I'm pretty sure a good cleaning is probably all it needs. So um, we'll go ahead and stop the recording over here.